so I got the call a week or so ago by using Chinese long beans for the key ingredient for Chicago Reader. One thing I want to do is utilize it in kind of in a technique and present it in almost the same way that it would be found in China. So, but use very much German and Northern European applications to it. So what we did was uh, we took the Chinese long beans, we fermented it for five days, like much like we would a sauerkraut or any other kind of uh, fermented pickle. Um, it's very popular. They actually smash it and then ferment it in Germany. They do it a lot with green beans, obviously not the long beans, but with green beans. The one thing I didn't do, and I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself because I just thought of it now, they actually have uh, the herb, they call it a uh, Bonenkraut, which is um, the German name for summer savory, and it's known as the bean herb. And they use it in every single bean application there is. Dried beans, green beans, pole beans, anything like that. Um, but I, I did forget it in this, and now I'm upset because we don't have any in-house either. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the other things, and what did you make in the dishes? So um, the pickled herring we got, so we had to source some, um, some herring we got from one of our purveyors. Uh, we pickle it, uh, so we clean it up really well, which is a pain in the ass. So you have to get the, all, all the guts out. They're little fish, only like this big, so just cleaning a ton of them. It's one of those things we do a couple times a year, and we just kind of like let them pickle and marinate forever and slowly sell it. No one orders it, but I still love doing it. And it just sits marinating and can pretty much last indefinitely as long as it's covered in oil. So, And then we've been playing around a lot with uh, different beer malts and barleys. So we have uh, one of our favorites that fries up really well is uh, the, the one from Cologne they use in Kolsch, which is the only certified Kolsch malting facility in the world, I guess. Uh, so if you want like a proper Kolsch, you have to get the, the malted barley from them. So we buy it from uh, Brew and Grow, and then we just kind of toast it and fry it up and season it up. It turns out really nice and crunchy. It has uh, that nice kind of weird beer kind of sweetness to it, and it's good stuff, so. Here we have the fermented long beans. Again, they fermented for, these guys did, took only five days. The acid helps retain the texture, but we also lose a little bit of the color with the fermentation. It's just a natural thing. And then of course, this time of the year, sun golds, I think they're everyone's favorite cherry tomatoes. So we just get these from a nice local farm from local foods. So we're gonna use some of these as well. Here's the pickled herring that we do. So just nice small fillets, again, it stays on. And with that, we have some of the foie gras dressing basically a mayonnaise that we then take and smoke the foie gras, dress it up, a little bit of yogurt with it. Candied caraway seeds, so candy them just like nuts. Brings a little bit of texture, also Germany into the mix. And then this is the, the Kolsch barley. Kind of got the deep flavors, now we'll lighten it up with the dill. So the one thing with um, some of, sometimes the natural fermentation, to save the vegetable, you stop it a little short, but it doesn't get as acidic as I would like for like a salad or things like that. So we'll just add a touch of lemon juice to this. So what am I supposed to do now? Just eat Taste it? Taste it and tell us what you think, if this place is any good. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much what I pictured. I think it took a little bit more of like a, a tuna salad route with the herring, but it's one of those unexpected joys because of the food nostalgia to it. We've definitely used fermented green beans, the Chinese long beans, if you know Green Acres starts growing them, because I know they do a plethora of Asian stuff. Um, but I mean, if we can get them locally, I'm, I'm more than happy to try them out because I think they fermented a little bit better than regular green beans. And again, they take on a little bit better flavor. Um, so. Yeah, I'd have no problems using them at all. Would people order it if it said green bean, beans and herring? Probably not. Probably not. We can barely sell a tomato salad. So. so the next chef, I was going to throw it back to V, Dan Compton, and I was going to give him tapache, which is uh, the fermented pineapple beer of Mexico. So, yeah. Like I said, I enjoy fermentation. <laughs> and I don't think any Mexican market's gonna make it, so I think it's something he'll have to figure out how to make and go from there. So that's, that's even more fun because he has to make something, figure it out, then figure out what to do with it.